What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you all about VCA faders. Now in the recent update of Logic Pro 10.1, Apple has given you the ability to use VCA faders in your session as you would on those big large format analog mixers. Now, I was gonna do a video just to show you how to use a VCA mixer and how to implement it, but I'm also gonna show you why you should use it over auxiliary tracks because you're going to see that they are similar but they are completely different in their own right. Now VCA stands for voltage controlled amplifier and it is a channel gain control that can be adjusted by varying DC voltages uh, on the current control input. Now it basically allowed the engineer to move a group of faders or submix of faders together and maintaining any offsets within them by only moving the one VCA fader. Now it does sound confusing, but I'm going to show you that in real time and then you're gonna understand it. It's not gonna sound so confusing after that. So right here, I got myself a little drum mix, a kick, snare, and a vox sample. So first I'm gonna show you how we used to create submixes uh, before 10.1 and we'd use an auxiliary track to do that. So we'd select all of our elements that we want in our submix, and then we go to our output section and go send that to a bus. And then now, let's call this drum mix. If we had tons of tracks here, we could just go to our mix and automate the volume so we don't have to adjust all the individual tracks. Once we got our mix perfectly done, we can just automate the mix as a whole or entity just like that all right so now i'm going to do the same thing and show you what a vca is used for so right here i got my vca section right here i can select all of my tracks and go to create new vca for selected channel strips and then it's gonna put it at the end of your track list here. I'm gonna call this drums as well. And it does similar or the same thing that an auxiliary track would. I can lower the volume and higher it. So you can create submixes. That's how engineers used to do it on big, large format analog uh, mixers. Now, the one advantage and why you should use a VCA or an auxiliary track is this reason alone right now that I'm gonna show you. So let's say I got my snare, I'm gonna send it to a reverb. Let's go to bus two. We'll send some stuff out and where's my bus two? So this is reverb. And we are going to go in our effects and we're gonna bring in a reverb. Right, so we got some reverb going, gonna lower that down. Sorry, just a side note, if you didn't have the VCAs up here, you could just select the track, control click anywhere, and go to create new VCA, and it'll create a new VCA track for you. Or you can control click anywhere on the tracks here and go to configure channel strip components and select VCA, and you can select it like I did that brings up the VCA right here. All right, so back to what I was talking about. So now we got a reverb on our snare. And the old way, if I were to go to my submix on my auxiliary track, which is right here, and I lower it, you're gonna hear one problem. My entire submix of drums lowered, but this reverb is also part of the submix and it did not attenuate the way it should like the other tracks. It did not keep its relationship with each other and the offsets did not stay within them. The reverb continued to play while the snare dry signal has lowered completely. And that's not something you want. Now you could set this up in a group and set up another scent be part of the group, but it's a lot more confusing and it's not as easy as a VCA track. So in a VCA track, as I got my mix right here, I'm gonna lower this. And the beauty about this is that all the sends, all the dry signals and all the wet signals is gonna lower and keeps all its offsets within them. So the relationship that we had when this fader was up 
is going to be the exact same as I lower it. And that's huge when you are trying to mix a large number of tracks, create VCA tracks for your voices, for your strings, for your guitars, for your pianos, for your keys, for your synths, for your voices. And then once you get your individual kind of relationships done, you could just use these eight channel VCA strips, for example, and just submix like that as the song plays out. And whenever you lower a track, it's gonna lower all of the effects on each track as well. So the dry signal will always keep the wet signal relationship and the wet, it'll never be wetter as it would be on an auxiliary track. Like this one here. So I lower my auxiliary track like we would before and my wet signal stays way too wet. If I use my VCA track, it's gonna lower all of my effects as well in my sense, which works beautifully. Another cool thing about VCA faders is that you can have your tracks set to multiple outputs, but still be controlled by the VCA. So it doesn't affect what output the track is going to. So if I output this uh, snare to a stereo output, oops, I have it all selected here. So this is gonna go to bus one, and this is gonna go to bus one. So right now my hey sample and my kick is going to bus one and my snare is going to a different output so now my auxiliary track will only have the kick in the clap and the hey sample but since vcas can have different tracks with different outputs doesn't work the way an auxiliary track does we can actually set it to one channel strip still And there's everything right there, even though the snare is on a different output as well. So that's another reason why to use a VCA fader. And lastly, you can automate a VCA fader as well. So if I want to automate the volume, I'm just gonna go to touch. It's gonna automatically pop up right here. And the beautiful thing is it's gonna put it at the end of all my tracks in Logic. And now I can go ahead and hit play and I can automate. So that is VCAs in a nutshell. If you have any more questions on VCAs, you can ask me the question uh, in the comment section below. For more good videos, remember to subscribe. Start using VCAs if you have Logic 10.1 because they are gonna help you when you have a large number of uh, tracks in your session. For more good videos, remember to subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Later.